Okay, now that we've got our pie in its pizza box case, I'm going to show you how to connect up the cobbler. So in this package is the cobbler and the cable. So, you'll notice the cobbler and the pie have the same number of pins for the GPIO bus. So what we are going to do is put this on here this way. All right? So it doesn't matter which end of the cobbler cable you put on the pie, you put it on there. All right? Now, if you look at the cobbler, you will see every pin is labeled. Each of these pins connects to one of these pins. So this is so that you can get at all of the GPIO pins on there on the breadboard. So if we take this off and plug it in, so the top row there goes to the top row in the breadboard. And we want to plug it in in the middle so we can still get at both of those pins on the two sides. Now, we can bring this over this way to plug in. Now, it's very important that you plug it in that way. Why? Because I could plug this in, this could be turned around like this, which would mean the pins were connected all the wrong way. So I want to make sure the pins are connected this way. So that when you have it correctly connected, you should see it should look like this. You should have the pie here with this loop. If you don't have a loop going this way, it's wrong. So the cable coming off the GPIO pins on the pie should come over the pie. Then it should flip over and the cable should go over the breadboard to the connector. When you've got it connected this way, it's right.